right, James is here at the house. Play me a ditty. We're going to start this video off a little different with a little country music night. Donnie, count me off. One, two, three. If you really want to know, sing along. She comes here a lot. She just loves to hear the music and dance. K-13 is her favorite song. If you played it, you might have a chance. Tonight she's on. So I hope y'all enjoyed my attempt at some country music. We had a little country music get together party with some friends and um, man, I just can't party like I used to. I was never into good at it. Okay, obviously we have some extreme stuff to show y'all here. And this and this are two of the most incredible baits I've ever seen. This is like a top water twitching shad. So it's weighted to where it will actually float this side up on the water twitches around like a dying shad uh, i believe it's molded from a real fish this is absolutely next level as is this glide here this is molded from a real fish and uh, this is all paint it's not uh, skin or image transfer or foils or anything like that um, that's just how good this dude is so who is this let me show you some of you may already know oh my god here comes the laundry noise what you know what what a buzz kill Okay, I think the uh, noise is gone, but it's this dude. Co Briggers Custom Baits. And he sent me a voice text, so I'm pretty sure I pronounced it right. Co Briggers, it's not Co Brichers, Co Briger. It's not Kostricher, which is one of my favorite German beers. It's Co Brigger. And here's the one that he did for me, right there. Freaking laundry noise. Yeah, absolutely stunning stuff. Definitely check him out. Let's look at him one more time here. He's in central Iowa, no pro staff. So uh, hit him up on DM and ask for a sponsorship. That's what that says to me, but <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, look at this. Absolutely unbelievable details. So I think, ooh, sorry. I think what we're gonna do is eventually do a color match of this. Cause you know that we have to. Lots of cool highlight effects, some powder effects going on. Unreal stuff, All right? And then now for my boring stuff, I recently did some sungill layered pours, so I figured I would show these off to you guys. Lots of layers happening there. I got some sort of suspended flakes there uh, in a few colors, some uh, just kind of red smallmouth pattern eyes, and uh, yeah, lots, lots of cool layering there. There's uh, some dark green pumpkin and some blacks, obviously sort of this yellow-orange. And uh, yeah, I think they uh, made for some nice layered pours. So anyway, some recent stuff, and uh, had to show these off. He was nice enough to uh, send me these, send send these my way. And um, hey, the least I could do is give them up. Holy crap! All right, buddy, don't kill me, but I dropped it. Okay, so off camera, I did a thing. So we have sort of attempted this pattern all hand pouring so lots of skin layering there there's actually a capsule down beneath all of that with a little bit of like a shimmery powder to hopefully capture some of the shine on this um so yeah we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what happens but we're gonna uh we're gonna give it a shot so i'll let y'all know how these turn out they may be complete rubbish and garbage you know there's just there's more space top to bottom on this you know, this particular mold, I don't have a lot of depth this way, so I kind of got a little cramped here. But uh, hey, we gave it our best shot. Yeah, those took forever. I really hope they work out. Or else that's like two and a half hours down the tubes. Some uh, four inch holograms I've been working on, and some other stuff. 
So yeah, big fingers crossed on those. That was a mega effort. All right, we got it. Sorry, Hadley's in the garage and she's playing with her bus. But yeah, lots of blue and purple highlights there. My purple's maybe a little bit more purple. His is a little bit more washed out with maybe slightly more, <laughs> slightly more blue highlights. He had some shading down here, so we shaded that fin as well. And uh, yeah, I'm actually very, very happy with it. Hey, little girl. So yeah. <laughs> lots, lots of layering, but uh, I think I think it came out. Uh, I think it came out good, and it was worth the time and effort. What do y'all think below? Let me know in the comments. All right, welcome back. So it is freezing today in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, this morning it was like 35 when I went outside to walk the dogs. Funny story, I made a quick little uh, Instagram story about it. <clears throat> well, I got one upped. I actually received a, a reply to that story from Kazakhstan. And the guy says, yeah, funny, uh, he, he was like, yeah, blah, 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 it's like negative 29 here. Oh, I just can't even do it. But we got to make some stick worms, okay? Some old school stick worms. We're throwing it back to the basic. Just some solid color injection in the most basic mold that all of us probably started with. Just a regular old stick worm. So uh, we're going to fire up the fishing all out vise. That way we, uh, we just have a really tight grip on the molds. No flashing. And um, we're going to fire up a bunch of plastic here. So uh, we have, what we have here is four cups of dead on plastic worm blend. That's the big Pyrex. And um, just some green pumpkin. Oop, so we're going to be using green pumpkin 109 and then just some black flake down there. So that's, uh, that's what's coming up right now. So we're going to go ahead and get this in the microwave, get it cooking. Okay, green pumpkin time. And the best thing about the customer who these are for is that he does not want salt in his stick worms. Mad respect for that. Mad respect. Luckily done on plastic already makes a heavy sinking blend of plastic. So these, these will actually have a nice sink to them naturally. But I don't have to mess around with salt. Which, uh, which is quite nice. Quite nice, if I'm being honest. I think we need... I think we're going to go with a little bit more saturation than that. But not too much. Let's see where that gets us. Yeah. Okay. I think that's looking pretty nice. Now for some black flake. And find my spoon. I was unprepared. Okay. Here we go. We're just going to kind of add this stuff to taste until it looks about right. We will see where that gets us. And again, this is four measuring cups of plastic right here. This is just a straight green pumpkin black flake. Doesn't get more basic than that. That is uh, about as basic but yet effective at fish catching as it gets. You know, we kind of went from one extreme with that glide bait to this. And, uh, you know, it's funny. Both will catch the same fish. Crazy how that works. Yeah. I think... I think that'll work. All right, here we go. Let's lock and load. Now, we've kind of got cold molds and cold injectors, so hopefully we'll get everything to fill okay. Like I said, it is freezing out here. Here we go. We're gonna move fast so that hopefully nothing plugs up on us. 
This is a 10 ounce injector. Comfortably fills all of these molds. This is uh, one of Marty's injectors. Yeah. Okay, I think that worked out just well. Oh, that warmth. That warmth feels good right there. All right, let's see how we did. The compressor might kick back on, so we may have some background noise. Oh yeah, look at that. Just your good old fashioned green pumpkin worm. Yep, green pumpkin black flake. It's amazing how many bass have been caught on that right there, the most basic thing. Gotta love it. Gotta respect the simplicity of fishing sometimes. As bait makers, we, we tend to overthink it, right? We wanna do bigger, better, greater, more complicated, which is great, but uh, sometimes all you need is that. Best part right here, keep your hands clear. Love that. If you're an injection guy, Definitely got to check out a uh, pneumatic vice system. It will absolutely change the way that you uh, make your baits so much more efficient. Look at that. That's just round one. All right, here we go. A little close up. These are the uh, <clears throat> old bass tackle uh, sticks. I think they're now, I think this particular mold is now the BT stick at Bob's Tackle Shack. I think. Because BT stood for Bass Tackle. But I think it's now at Bob's Tackle Shack. So they kind of all sound the same, but you know, good mold. Had these a long time. No complaints. Yeah. That's going to be nice. All right, let's get some more out. Round two here. I think we'll get about three rounds total. That's without remelting runners. So I think that's about what we're what we're gonna get. And did any of y'all catch the uh, Chargers Jaguars game last night? Twenty-seven to nothing lead blown. I mean, they literally blew a worse lead than the Falcons did in the Super Bowl. What the heck? But being from Florida, I guess I gotta be happy for the Jaguars. What a crazy game. Crazy game. Yeah. These are looking good. There we go. Beautiful. There it is. Nice consistency of the flake suspension. And uh, doesn't appear to be any bubbles or dents. So I'm very, very, very happy with those. You never know when the molds are really cold like that. Sometimes injection just gives you a really hard time uh, when conditions are cold. But so far today, we're, uh, we're having some pretty good luck. All right, next up is good old fashioned black and blue flake. So we're just gonna add our black here. Give this a stir. Again, this is the Dead On Plastics Black Bucket Sinking Worm Formula. Perfect for a stick worm where you don't intend to use salt. Salt is still usually preferred for most people, <clears throat> but this particular guy said no salt. So, I was happy to oblige. Yeah. All right. And now just a bunch of blue flake. Just a medium .035 blue. Also, uh, sometimes I like to use multiple sizes. So like a really small blue and then this medium size, you know, kind of have some different flake textures in there. But for right now, we're gonna keep it simple. And just go straight black, but blue, one size. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, maybe a smidge more and then we're done. <clears throat> I 
Yeah. That's going to be nice. There it is. Lock and load. Here we go. Black and blue flakes. Yeah. Looking nice, looking nice. Always got to top off the runners there, top off the sprues. Beautiful. Stick worms drink a lot of plastic. We'll meet you right back. Yeah, black with blue flake, round one. Forgot how pretty this is. I haven't made just a straight black with blue flake worm in quite a bit now. We'll uh, get one, get one string of them out here. Yeah. This is one of the one of the classics. This green pumpkin, watermelon red. June bug, can't go wrong. All right, we'll show you a few coming out of the mold, and then we're gonna move on off camera. I can't show you every single worm that I have to make today because we're going to run out of time, but yeah, look at that. It's the simple baits in life. Simplistically perfect. Yeah, so I got them hanging up here. I don't know what all you can see from that angle. But yeah, got lots of stuff. They're hanging where my molds hang out. Got some old snakes there in the 8.8 uh, .8 Mojo Worm. This is sort of the rack for a lot of the open pour molds. So you'll recognize some of this stuff. But yeah, there it is. Some old school stickworm colors. And a bunch of them. Really nice. Yeah, looking good. All right, well, thank the Lord it has warmed up a little bit. So uh, I think we're going to um, sign this video off and probably go do some house chores, doing a couple things around the house. I, uh, I could use a good shave. So got a lot of things to do today. So um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Shoot me lots of comments down below. Let me know what type of video you would like to see next. I do read all those comments and um, I'm open to any ideas that y'all have. So with that said, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We will see y'all in the next video.